residences are usually associated with dilapidated old houses or desolate country roads, but some of the most unnervingly and extensively documented cases of paranormal encounters originated in the sky over our heads. Researcher Brent Swanzer has found that airplanes are also not exempt from accommodating mysterious spirits. He has documented the haunting presences abounding in relation to Eastern Airlines Flight 401, but also uncovered many more eerie tales of ghosts on airplanes. They often involve passengers who are seen by other passengers or crew, but who are found not to be really there at all, at least not physically. One such case was reported by a Reddit user who worked as a flight attendant aboard a B737, a smaller plane which has its cockpit door close to cruise seats. The plane was at cruising altitude when the captain called asking why two small children were being allowed to play in front of the cockpit door. The crew replied that there were no children playing there, but the captain insisted that he was watching them right at that very moment on CCTV. As the captain continued to insist that he could actually see the boy and girl playing in front of the door via the CCTV, the crew members became annoyed to think that their pilots were pulling pranks on them. After a considerable time, the captain ceased with his comments and said to never mind the kids. After touching down and arriving at the hotel, the captain pulled the crew leader aside in the presence of his first officer. He demanded to know if she and her crew really didn't see the two children playing in front of the cockpit door. She maintained they hadn't and pointed out that as the galley is so small anyway, at less than 10 metres long, she wouldn't have missed two children playing. With the first officer confirming what his captain had seen, both pilots were stunned that they had seen the child apparitions playing right next to the flight attendants and wondered why they allowed them there. Another Reddit user reported an occurrence experienced by a friend who was a flight attendant on a red-eye shuttle from San Francisco to New York. As the passengers entered the plane, the witness remembers distinctly noticing a well-dressed man in his 40s carrying a briefcase who seated himself at the rear of the plane near the restrooms. While not thinking much of it at the time, things became strange when the crew counted the passengers later during the flight. He explained that before departure, the flight attendants counted 35 passengers who had boarded the flight. As it was a red-eye flight, most passengers slept throughout and everything had gone smoothly as always. Before landing, however, flight staff recounted the passengers and came up with only 34. Assuming the missing passenger was in the bathroom, they checked there, but it was empty. They eventually worked out that the missing passenger was the man seated at the rear of the plane. One flight attendant even reported having a conversation with him about his wife and two daughters. On landing, the crew notified airport security and reviewed the flight numbers checked in back at San Francisco. Their information registered only 34 passengers as well. Swanza related another eerie report he received directly from a witness. The man claimed to have been travelling on a half-empty flight from Denver to New York, wherein the person sitting next to him appeared to be very ill. He described her as a lone elderly woman wearing an old-fashioned shawl and with thick dark circles beneath her eyes and a sickly pallor to her complexion. During the flight, she simply sat there looking straight ahead but he observed that she was looking worse and worse. Surprised that she had even been permitted on the plane for such a long flight, he eventually asked her if she needed any help. But the woman just kept staring ahead and ignored him completely. Finally, she struggled to her feet and started to stumble off towards the bathroom, at which stage he then went to tell a flight attendant about his concerns. After telling her he believed the woman to be very unwell, the attendant went back to the bathroom to check on her. On her return, she told him that there was no one in the bathroom and no sign of the woman matching his description anywhere on the plane. For the remainder of the flight, he didn't see her again and hasn't been able to explain the encounter since. Other accounts of the supernatural aboard planes involve various strange, inexplicable occurrences seemingly tied to a particular aircraft. 
One witness found on the site Quora identified herself as a flight attendant called Susan Brown and described one such haunted craft she once worked on. At that time it was a new plane, a new crew for her, and one of the flight attendants she had never met before informed her that the plane they were crewing on was thought to be haunted. According to them, there was a previous passenger who had been on vacation with his wife who had passed away. The body had been stowed with the rest of the cargo in a metal container so as to be transported back home for burial. The haunting reportedly began during that flight when there was a woman who went to the galley and requested a drink. The cabin crew told the woman she could return to her seat and that they would bring the drink to her after preparing it. The woman pointed to where she was seated and also told the crew that she was sitting next to her husband. The crew then prepared the drink and took it to the seat she had indicated. However, there was only a man sitting there. The crew told the man that they had brought the drink for the lady who requested it, but the man told them that there was no lady sitting next to him and that he was sitting there alone. The crew informed the man that they had been approached by a lady requesting a drink who had pointed out that she was sitting next to him. During this strange discussion, the man told the crew that it was impossible for his wife to ask for a drink as she was deceased and in the cargo section. The by then shocked man told them that the bizarre aspect was that the drink the crew brought was a Bloody Mary which had been his wife's favourite drink. Both the man and the crew were shaken by the strange occurrence. Brown was told that ever since then that particular plane has reportedly been subject to all manner of eerie phenomena such as unexplained noises and objects which move, vibrate or are knocked over by unseen hands. As a result, all crew and personnel who have heard of this plane are very cautious when working around or aboard it. A similar story was related by a flight attendant called Amanda Pleaver regarding a plane well known by her colleagues as Christine, so called after the haunted car in the Stephen King novel. She told Flyer Talk that some avoid flying on her because of strange occurrences such as lights that turn themselves off and on, unusual sounds and sudden temperature spikes or drops. Also frightening is a haunted airliner reported by James Wysong, a flight attendant for United Airlines, who described the phenomena on the site Travellers United. On a flight he had worked for Europe aboard an older 747, another flight attendant told him that the plane that they were on was haunted. There had been an accident years ago wherein a cargo door had violently blown off, sending people tumbling out into the night. Their remains were never recovered. Although sceptical, James soon changed his mind when he began work in one of the prep kitchens in the lower galley, beside a co-worker called Martha. As he worked and listened to music on his device, bizarre and unexplained events cascaded. Ovens began to turn on and off, causing alarm bells to ring throughout the galley. Then overhead lights began to dim, and Martha called to say her ovens were behaving strangely too, as a new sound emerged, an eerie whistle that trailed away whenever one of the ovens turned off. Finally completing all the meals and sending them upstairs, Wysong then turned off the ovens, but two of them continued to cycle on and off as the overhead lights went dark. When Wysong's music started to slow down as if the batteries were dying, he made a hasty exit as he knew the batteries were brand new. The strangest part came when he recorded the problems on the airplane's mechanical log. He discovered that they had been written up many times before and each time mechanics were unable to fix them or even confirm their existence. The bizarre occurrences seemed to occur only in flight and when mechanics ran a ground check the system was sound. After that trip he heard about other flight attendants bringing Ouija boards and holding seances during crew breaks. Swanza's research has left him wondering why such forces have become tied to these haunted locations in the sky. It seems that ghosts can occur anywhere, so the next time you are settling in for a flight or your plane is cruising through the clouds, keep an eye out for anything unusual.